there's not a lot of male creators in texas right like not many no so did you come out here to start collabing with people um there was one guy in houston he was the first okay wait so i had this girl collab with this girl and her boyfriend was there and another couple was there and so i just went there thinking oh we're just gonna do a girl girl collab and mind you i was a year celibate from why because the I was getting was trash and um then me and my friends were kind of in a a contest of who could go the longest because we were going so long we were like let's see who breaks first Mm. we couldn't find any good and it's just not worth how bad are we talking describe bad just like no stroke no nothing just i don't know it's just what really set me off was i this guy that was really hot i was so excited to him and just nothing I had to do all the work. He just laid there. It wasn't even, it was nothing. And he came so quick. Oh. I was like, dude, you're hot. What's going on? He's like, I've never had to work for anything. I'm yeah. Like, yeah. Look good. I'm like, the only good part was making out. And then the guy was like, no. Okay. But if a guy comes fast the first time you bang him, can't you rationalize that in your head as being like, oh, he thinks I'm really hot. Maybe if I bang this guy a few more times, then it'll start to last longer as he chills the fuck out. Maybe, but no. <laughs> All the guys before him already <laughs> fucked it up exactly. for him. She was over it. You there know? was like a couple that I was like, okay, this is not even worth it. I'm pretty sure the first time I fucked my wife probably lasted like two, three minutes, right? Like I was. I don't even remember the first time we. <gasps> I was geeked. We were. I was I, eating I, your I, butter. I was wine drunk. Oh, they had like how one long glass it of was. wine. Yeah. <laughs> but she was like on keto, no! so she it didn't take we anything. We went to a diner and got wine at the diner, and then we went to Seven Eleven and bought another bottle. Okay, you were wine drunk, yeah. All right, okay. My bad. <laughs> yeah, oh. but I just don't remember how long it lasts. I remember your old, gross bedroom and <laughs> other things that happened that night. But I just remember eating your ass and not knowing that your butt was uh, enhanced, and just being like, "Oh my god, this is the best ass I've ever fucking touched," <laughs> and being so geeked up. And then, like a few months later, she told me, I was like, "Oh." Okay. Well, he told me, like, hey, I have a secret. My hair's fake. And I was like, yeah, I have a secret too. My ass is fake. <laughs> and then she, like, stood up and, like, walked away. I was like, like, she was so nervous to tell me. Because you were like, I had, like, ruined the fantasy for you. Kind of wish I didn't tell you. At the, at the time, you were like, oh. I was glad I knew. I, I, I would rather find out from you than from someone else. That's true. No one else knew. That's a good point. And now I live in a BBL world. Everybody got yeah, fake butt. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Cameraman got a fake butt, probably. I don't know. <laughs> Shut up. Um, <laughs> but, uh, okay. So, one, okay. So, once you started actually shooting with, like, real professionals, how different was it? Because sometimes they fuck up, too. After being a year celibate. Tell us about the first sex after being yeah, celibate. That's, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I we, we forgot about. about that So, one. I went for just a girl-girl collab, and her boyfriend was there, right. and another couple we did our girl girl collab we were drinking taking shots and we were like let's go out because we ran out of alcohol and we were right by the bars in houston and so we go out me and her are like feeling on each other like this is good and her boyfriend drives us home and she's eating my pussy in the back of the car while we're and no one's filming this i, well, I filmed it oh, POV. Okay. i filmed it pov that's hot i love and car it was hookups. hot Moving and you can just see him he's like yes. trying to look but driving <laughs> getting in an accident yeah. <laughs> um, with a boner yeah. <laughs> Jerking off while the jaws of life are working yeah it was so okay. hot and then we get back to the airbnb and it just turns into an orgy so it's three girls two guys and that was the first dick i had in over a year and it was like hours long so i feel like i just released all my sexual not you made up for it yeah the 12 months off yeah wow and then after that i started doing boy girl collabs were you so horny after that you're like oh yeah i was like it's great i need it i need (laughs) it what have i been doing but yeah i mean once you fuck a guy who does this for a living and granted like i said they do fuck up sometimes too but probably like a way better average i'm trying to think i don't even know if i've had any guys necessarily fuck up Mm. like shooting professionally knock on wood but yeah I mean, and if you were to take a random porn star and put him up against a random guy, the porn star is going to deliver way it more depends. often, right? Sometimes regular guys bring it. Really? I don't know. Yeah. It's been a long time for me. I don't remember. You, you never know. I know. Yeah, but it, it but it's a roll of the dice. Yeah. It might be honestly like 10%. Of, yeah. I'm trying to guess like what percentage of dudes would really be able to lay it down. Yeah. I feel like porn stars have better stamina most of the time. For that sure. too. Yeah. It usually lasts longer. And she's fucking dread this week. So she's. Oh my God. Yeah. Going for the home run thursday are you excited 
I am. I am. I had some friends over at my house this past week and they were like, who are you working with? Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, dread. And they're like, who's that? Because like, they're not in the industry. Losers. <laughs> Get familiar. And I was like, okay. So I put it on my TV. I'm like, this oh is him. God. And they're like, I'm so scared for you. Have you fucked <laughs> any other gigantic penises? I just fucked Sly Diggler. Okay. Huge dick. Oh. Um, Do you feel like you were built for this? Like you're, you're capable yeah. of handling it? Yeah. I think I can do it. I think I'll probably warm up first, but... Are you giving yourself a day off after Dread, or...? No, no. I have another scene the next day, and then yeah. I'm going home. Okay. Mm. And hopefully... Take a few ice baths when you get <laughs> home. <laughs> get some lidocaine for your pussy. Yeah, I'm like, I don't even know how to prepare for this. 